Hey there, my name is Tomer and I'm the product manager for Applico UX at Applico. On this short video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create and manage dashboards within Applico UX. Let me show you how to do it. Dashboards in Applico UX are collections of widgets which allows each user to explore and quickly find their own insights. All could be easily configured with a simple drag and drop interface. In the following executive dashboard example, we can find four different widgets. The table widget, an advanced Excel-like component which offers many out-of-the-box features including cell commentary, the ability to drill up and down in a dimension, keyboard navigation and keyboard shortcuts, and even a variant chart. We are going to talk more about the table widget in the next videos. Next, we have a waterfall chart that on this example simply shows which KPIs drives the growth or to decline to our PNL. We have a column chart that is fully interactive and enables to create any comparison on the fly. And last and not least, we have the variant chart, which calculates on the fly the sales unit performance for each product category. A key feature of the entire application and dashboards in particular is the ability to set and customize the corporate identity color scheme. For instance, in our demo, black represents the actual version, blue the budget, and gray the last year. And those colors are reflected on all our widget types. This will allow the users to understand and analyze the data in a more efficient way. As mentioned, this could be easily configured. Let's quickly navigate to the corporate identity dashboard change the actual color to be green, for instance. Now, if we refresh this dashboard, we can immediately see the impact on the table widget. And if we're gonna go back to the executive dashboard, we would see that now actual is reflected in green in the entire application. Another useful aspects of dashboards is the ability to interact between the widgets. At the moment, this dashboard is filtered on the USA region. Instead of using the classic dropdown for filtering, by simply clicking on any one of the countries or regions from the table widget, I can filter the entire dashboard for the selected element. Titles could be set dynamically as well, so the user has no doubt which, which section of the data is currently analyzing. Let's review another example on the sales dashboard. On the sales dashboard, we can find the KPI widget, the world map, and again, the table widget. And here, the interaction is even higher, so I can click on any one of the product categories and filter the two widgets below and I can even click on any one of the countries and accordingly filter the KPI and the table widget for that country. As you probably noticed, the sales dashboard and the executive dashboard has slightly different layout. Let's go back to the executive dashboard and see how we can set it up. So by simply clicking on the error on the right hand side of the toolbar, I'm exposed to the dashboard edit mode. And by simply clicking on the responsiveness icon, the pop-up window will allow us to change the layout and the width of each one of the widget sizes. So for instance, I can change the waterfall chart to take the full length of the screen, close the pop-up and see immediately the reflection on the dashboard. I can also change the order of the widgets so I can drag the waterfall chart 
to be the first on the list and again close the pop-up and immediately see the impact if i want to see if i want to change even the widget type i can simply use the drop down and if i change it to a grid the entire chart would be now changed to a table And that was a short overview how to work with dashboards in Applico UX. Follow the links for more Applico UX videos. If you enjoyed what you saw, tell us what you think in the comments box below and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out our newest content. Thanks and see you on the next one.